Oh God, this is a steep one. Something took it twice, something took it twice. Oh yes. And it's still alive. Just a knife through the brain. Oh, we're not letting this one go. Look at this nice flat area here that maybe we could do a bit of fishing off of. Down to there. It's definitely an option. All right, guys, well, welcome back to another fishing mission. I'm right now busy trying to get myself down this steep rock face to try and get down to the bottom here where we can do a bit of fishing. I've got the long rod with me. I don't know if you can see that. I've got the long one. We've got a bit of prawns and uh, we're gonna see what we can catch but Chief is doing this with not hands. Look at these. Look at these drops. It's about five meters or so. But, um, yeah we're gonna drop a prawn down there and we're gonna see what we can what we can catch. If we get nothing right over here then we're gonna take a walk around the bay and see uh, see if we can find some other places uh, to fish a little bit but um, yeah let's get this prawn in the water and let's uh, let's see what we can get. All right, so I think I found a decent spot to fish. It's a, it's a nice little flat rock. I can walk down here quite easily, just down to there to, to pretty much cast off into there. All right, so this is the rod that we got. It's a seven foot six, uh, medium light, super, super flexi rod. And we got, a, we got our cork attached down to a couple split shots and then down to our little hook. Now for bait, we're gonna be using some, oh no. Oh my prawns! Our prawns, these are them. Now they're just frozen prawns from the supermarket. But now it is quite deep here and we've got to fish pretty much close to the bottom. So what I want to do is I want to adjust the uh, depth that we're going to be fishing at. So I'm going to slide this cork pretty much as far up as possible. So we can check the depth that we're fishing. And uh, that's about that. Let's get a prawn on. And let's get fishing. Okay, we got the prawn on there just like that. We're gonna wrap him up with a little bit of cotton. And let's see what we can get. I have a good feeling. I've got a feeling. Drag. It's good. Cork. Perfect. I don't know if you guys can see the cork out there, but it's in a good position. It's gone down once already. Oh, there we go. There we go. Looks like we're on. Oh. Oh, yes. Something took it twice. Something took it twice. So we better check our bait. Oh, my goodness. I don't know if you saw that. Something completely just annihilated that. Let's get it back out there. While we're talking, that bobber just went boom, boom. Come on, baby, do it again, do it again. Well, whatever that was, it took it once, took that cork straight down, and then came back for it a second time. That was promising. I think we're going to get something. Still a little bit of bait on there. Let's see if this will work. Otherwise, we we change it up again. Oh my! Oh, that one's right out there. It's getting hit. It's getting hit. It's under. It's under. It's back up. It's back up. Had a big hit there. Had a big hit. Hopefully, our bait is still on. Shit, that might have taken our base. Okay, so how I like to put on these little these little shrimp, take the hook and hook them through there, kind of curl them around so that he sticks out there. Kind of the same as how I how I wish I could thread worms, but I don't know if you've seen my previous videos where I try and thread on worms, it's always a a nightmare, you know. Okay, and then a couple couple of winds of this. Tie a knot like that. OK, 
Okay, and that is the little presentation. Let's get him out there. Go Miles! The trick might be to strike. Strike early before it lets go of the bait. Come on, come on. Go again, baby, go again. That was one. Oi! Oh yes! We're on, we're on, we're on, we're on, we're on, we got one, we got one, we got one, what is it? What is it? It's not big. Let's see. Let's see, it's coming up. Oh no! Oh no, it fell off. Oh no! Fuck! I just hope it's not one of those damn st stinkers, those sh shitty fish that that taste crap and smell horrible if you haven't seen that well i put on a brave face eating it but in um in uh one of my other videos it's actually my most successful video i eat one of those stinky fish but at the time because i'm new to northern spain i didn't know that there were shit fish to eat i just thought like man this fish smells really funny so I took it back home and I cooked it and I ate it okay here we go come on baby bomb it out there that's the spot here we go it's going down something's on it it's back up something just hit it there we go corks down oh yes we're on we're on we're on we're on we're on we're on yes we're not letting this one go. I'm reeling it in. Oh yes. All right. I'm bringing it up. Oh yes. Yes. Please look at this. Now this. Oh god. It's what we call a sargo. Now I want to put him down here. I cannot lose him. Okay. Let's see. All right, buddy. Here you go. He's a little bit small. He is a little bit small. All right. Look at this wow oh. yeah buddy look at that oh, oh shit easy tiger easy 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 so this is what we've been after this entire time he's he's a spiky one he just got me the revenge this is what we've been after this entire time this little guy here has a sargo delicious to eat all right let's take a photo of you buddy look at that look at that hey look at him he is oh shit are we recording here we are look at him absolutely beautiful oh, let's go and show the hooked him right on the top of the mouth there perfect hook up look at him all right buddy all right all right all right I'm going to show you to the camera, up at the top. Luckily there's water all below me, so if he falls, he's going down into the water. Take a look at that. That is what we're after. Oh, yes! Okay. Now let's, uh, let's get him back into the water. He's a little bit small, so we're going to pop him right down. And there he goes. Yes, 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 yes. All right, my feet are soaking wet, but we got the fish that we wanted. Now we're going to get a bigger one to eat. Come on, something, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it.
Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, we're on, we're on. Something took it. I knew there was something hiding there. Swimming right at us, swimming right at us. Oh, there it is, 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 there it is. It's another one of the little Sargos. Look at that. All right, he's not big, but he is. Oh man, he swallowed that hook. All right, so let's, let's put you down here for a second, buddy. In the water, don't panic, don't panic. Don't you panic. All right, this guy absolutely swallowed the hook, so let's see what we can do. Yeah, yeah, don't spike me, don't spike me. See, as soon as I get a little bit upset, they bring up that, that, yeah, that's, bike let's see how deep is it buddy how deep is it all right well i've got pliers to get that hook out but before we do so take a look at this like look at these beautiful so i can just focus here for you look at these beautiful colors hey he's like this dark bronzy Hello, and then his face has almost like a blue, blue speckled tinge to it. He is really cool in his mouth. Look at his mouth, almost like a little sheep's, like a little sheep's mouth. Take a look at that, hey, nice and blue. All right, buddy, let's get to sheepers. That is... Buddy, that is not coming out. That is deep. Let me get my pliers. One second. Yeah, 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 buddy. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know, I know. Let's see if we can get this out. He has absolutely swallowed that hook. All right, so we're gonna put him out of his misery, and we're gonna we're gonna have a little bit of a fry up with this guy. There's no size limit, so we can keep this guy. And um, yeah going to the pan you know I always believe if something's hooked badly and you can't get the hook out and you know it's gonna die then rather eat it the most humane way just a knife through the brain so just like this one two three straight through and he is done he is absolutely done he is done some death rattles but he is gone. All right, well let's let's fill it him up a little bit so we can try and get our hook out. So what you want to do? Just want to start right here by the butthole. Now, if he does have a little, a uh, couple little death rattles, don't you worry. He is completely dead. So that's just nerves. Start there by the butthole. Go all the way up to the top like that. Okay, and now. Inside you'll see a neat little pack ouch, of guts that you just want to take out, feed those to the, to the other fish. This is his, his belly pouch. Get all of that shit out. Ah, that's what I hooked my, my finger on. Here's the hook all the way down there in his stomach. That is crazy. All right, I've got to be careful. This is like surgery. There it is, yeah. Here's the hook. Look at that. All the way through. Well, no ways. So this was in his throat. And it's still alive. If any of you know what that is, look at that. If any of you know what that is, let me know. That was in his throat. I bet you we could put that on a hook and catch something with it for sure. Okay, there we go. We got our hook free. Okay, and now these guys, you also have to scale them. So we're going to scale this guy. Now, a nice easy way is just to use the back of your knife. And just... And now the other side.
all the way up to the top of the head because there's a lot of good meat here on the top. And here is dinner. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Okay, so this is that thing that was in that fish's mouth. Let's put him on the hook. I don't think he's going to like that. Okay, so we're going to use this that came out of the fish's mouth to see if we can catch another fish. Uh, let's see if it works. Alright, it's out there. It is out there. Oh no, he fell off. He fell off, alright. So there's our little cork. Just out there. We're gonna keep him in that. I want to show you these little things down here. Now these are called So these are called percebes and they are quite quite a delicacy here in northern Spain. They're actually super expensive because um, because they're difficult to get. They grow in these like really rough areas. Now you can imagine at high tide this area is pretty dangerous. So for somebody to be to be to be looking for those things that they, they get harnesses and they, 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 they come down into these areas of the rocks to harvest all these percebes, which makes them quite a Quite a sought after and, uh, and quite expensive seafood to buy. Um, so yeah, I don't know what all the fuss is about them. For me, they just taste like super salty, salty seawater. But um, yeah, I suppose it's part of the culture, something to something to, to try. It's part of the experience, I suppose, of living here in Spain. But um, enough chit chat. Let's get a fish. All right. Well, it looks like uh, looks like the bite's gone quiet, but um, I'm really happy. We got to. I'm really, really happy. I'm finding my groove here, and uh, it's fun fishing. It's the fishing that I like. I think the next time I'm going to bring the small rod out, uh, the tiny, tiny little ultralight rod, and uh, get some baits in the water. But look how beautiful that is, man. Look how beautiful it is. And we live just, just over there, just around the corner. So it's within walking distance, which is really, really cool. The scenery here is absolutely beautiful. All of these like percebes on the rocks, mussels all around, and fish. At least we caught some fish. That's the main thing. I hope you guys really enjoyed the episode. I really enjoyed fishing here. You know, like I've said it before in, in my videos, I do this because I love it. And I, and I really do. I, I enjoy fishing. It clears my mind. It gets you outside, a bit of fresh air, and uh, what better way to spend your afternoon than outside here looking at that beautiful, beautiful view. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed it, like the video, subscribe. Uh, if, if, if you don't, don't like it, don't subscribe. It's up to you, just enjoy the video. But uh, thanks again for watching, and um, of course, see you guys next time on the next fishing mission. Cheers. All right, the place is cleaner than when I got here. That's the most important thing now. Let's start this mission up this one last look at that view. Alright, let's walk.